We've had a strong 3.9 magnitude earthquake and aftershock at Clear Lake Volcano, the volcanic field, at the Geysers, California, just north of San Francisco. Over 500 people reported feeling it at USGS, and uh, I would venture to say that most of those people are around San Francisco Bay Area, because we know that that is an area of liquefaction, and that has, uh, it's soft. This is the Geysers a geothermal plant at Clear Lake Volcanic Field. It's the biggest geothermal plant in the world. And ever since it was established, the increase and the magnitude of earthquakes, the quantity and the size of the earthquakes there have increased. Now, according to Volcano Discovery, Clear Lake Volcanic Field lies north coastal range of California, 135 kilometers north of San Francisco. The volcanic field consists of lava dome complexes, cinder cones, Mars of basaltic to rhyolitic composition, Mount Canocti, the Dacitic lava dome on the south shore of Clear Lake is the largest volcanic feature. This is Mount Canocti of Clear Lake volcanic field that we're looking at now, and uh, you can see the beautiful lake in the background that actually is part of the caldera. Mount Canoctic Decidic Lava Dome, south shore of Clear Lake, is the largest volcanic feature. The area has intense geothermal activity caused by a large, still hot silicic magma chamber about 14 kilometers wide, 7 kilometers beneath the surface. It's about 3 or 4 miles down. It's about the same uh, depth as the uh, magma chamber of Yellowstone. So it's, uh, you know, not that far down from your feet if you're standing there. It provides a heat source for the geysers, the world's largest producing geothermal field on the southwest side of the volcanic field. Its geothermal power plant can generate approximately 2,000 megawatts. That's enough to power two cities the size of San Francisco. The latest volcanic activity happened about 10,000 years ago and formed Mars and cinder cones along the shores of Clear Lake. The large uh, natural freshwater lake in California, it's the largest freshwater lake in California, Clear Lake. Volcanism around Clear Lake is related to the complex San Andreas transform fault. Volcanic activity largely non-explosive with the exception of one major explosive eruption that must have occurred and deposited the air fault tuff most lavas found here range from basalt through rhyolite composition, dacite being the most dominant type. Four eruptive episodes separated by time gaps of 150 to 200,000 years have been recognized. 2.1 million th uh, years ago, 1.3 million years ago, and 650,000 years ago. Do you remember those dates? Those are the same exact dates that we have had the recent Yellowstone super eruptions, 2.1 million years ago, 1.3 million years ago, and 650,000 years ago, and uh, 100,000 to 10,000 years ago. Well, we've also had uh, Yellowstone lava eruption 70,000 years ago and another 80 eruptions since then. So I wouldn't be surprised if this was somehow related to the um, super eruptions of Yellowstone uh, from the dates that the USGS is giving us. That's exactly the same dates. The total volume, about 100 individual eruption, exceeds 70 cubic kilometers. Eruptive products from the first activity episode are found in the east of the field. The second activity episode, Cobb Mountain, 1 million years ago, and Mount Hana, uh, 900,000 years ago. The third episode of activity was the Mount Konakti Thurston Lake area, the most voluminous dacite and rhyolite feature of Clear Lake. The most recent activity up to about 10,000 years ago were small, mostly basaltic and acidic eruptions in the north field. And let's take a look at the maps at the geysers. But just one minute, that's 1146 UTC, and one minute before that was the uh, 3.9 at 1145 UTC. That was a little bit further down, 4.1 at the geysers. And uh, this is what we were talking about uh, Clear Lake Volcano on Volcano Discovery, and these are the four eruptive episodes separated by time gaps, and we're talking about the 
2.1 to 1.3 million years ago and the 650,000 years ago. Okay, these are the same exact time scales that we had with the super eruptions of Yellowstone. And this is Clear Lake Volcano, the position of it. It's on the San Andreas Fault, as we can see, and just north of, uh, here we are, let's pull out. This is Clear Lake, take this off. Okay, we pulled out, this is uh, Clear Lake right here, and this is our 3.9 and 2.5, north of Santa Rosa, north of San Francisco. I would say it's about, what, 200 miles north. And even though it's that far away, we did have liquefaction, we did have shaking in San Francisco Bay Area. We know that a lot of that is landfill, and uh, this is the 2.5 that we said before, and the 3.9. This is the shake map for the 3.9, as you can see. And uh, if you extrapolate this, you can see that there's shake map all over the San, the, uh, San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, even though that many, not many people live out there, uh, let's go to the population density. There we go. It's trying to come up. Okay. Uh, as you can see, the density is around the Bay Area right there. And take that off so we can see better. It looks like uh, if you extrapolate these shake uh, curves, uh, the Bay Area has been shaken by 3.9. Then remember that we had the uh, 4.6 in um, here, this one here, the 4.6 in the, that's 4 point up, but under this uh, quick swarm, we've had the 4.6. And this is the Salton Sea area. And again, that's an area of the uh, San Andreas Fault right here right here the San Andreas fault system the garlic fault the um, that's mono lake of the uh, super volcano Long Valley Caldera super volcano we've had an increase in earthquakes in uh, just across there east of that in uh, Mena Nevada and uh, right here that's mono lake Mena Nevada you can see the quake swarms there over two and a half hundreds every week if not thousands so we've had a we had this is pretty big uh all of you there please be very careful we have been given an alert by the usgs that they are expecting a big one on the san andreas southern california san andreas part of the fault also the middle and also the north even the people in oregon have been warned that they're overdue for a, a big one earthquake big one being over 7.5 magnitude. I'll leave links below for you for this. Thank you for your support. And if you can, please support my Patreon. Thank you very much. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.